Hey everyone, it's Miss Bailey from Toddler 2 at North Campus. And today I've collected a lot of materials that I have in my house to make sensory bottles. And sensory bottles are so much fun because it's something we can use to help calm our bodies. Um, they're really fun and beautiful to look at. Or we can use it during transition times. So our goal is to make two of these, which when they shake up, you can see the glitter moving. So I'm going to show you guys how to make these. I found two water bottles. Any plastic water bottle can do if it's clear so that you can see what's happening. Um, I preset this one with some clear glue. Clear glue um, is needed for the glue one. I also have glitter glue and if you only have glitter glue, just use glitter glue. That works too. I'm doing a little bit of a mixture. Um, this is a lot of fun if you have a funnel. You could put the funnel in and a grown-up can help hold the funnel for you while you squeeze in your glue. I've been doing this a long time, so I'm not using a funnel right now. Um, I'm going to add some blue glue. And now, I think, I'm going to add some purple glue in. The goal is to get roughly a third of your bottle filled with glue. That's a lot of glue, huh? And I'm going to pour in the purple glue now. Almost about two thirds. This bottle is a little bit bigger than my other bottles. Now we kind of got a purple and blue and clear mixture going on. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add glitter because glitter is fun. <laughs> and that's what we're watching fall. There is glitter in this glue, so I could just use the glue. But I decided I wanted some big glitter in there too. And this is an activity that you have to have mess expectations for. I know Miss Jen put up a really awesome video about mess expectations. Um, so I'm doing this on a plain tanning dining room table because I know I'm going to need to wipe it off. Um, same with their clothes. If you don't want their clothes to get messy during the gluing and the glittering and all that, make sure that they're wearing something that's easily washable. So I have this mixture. Now I'm going to grab warm water. We need the warm because that kind of helps the glue dissolve so that we can shake it up and let the glitter move around. So I'm going to fill the bottle with warm water. I'm going to leave a little bit of space at the top. For air so when we shake the bottle. The water has some places to move around. So here we go. I'm going to shake it, get that glue to break up, shaky, shaky, shaky. And if the glue's having a really hard time, you could put it under the faucet, warm faucet and help it glue through the outside of the bottle. But there we go. That's the glue and water mixture. The more glitter you add, the longer it will take for all the glitter to settle. The less amount of glitter it it you add the less time it will take. Um, you could also add pony beads or bigger sequins to add some more interesting depth to the bottles. Once you know your bottle is set, take some super glue or um, a glue stick and do the ridge of the bottle and then close the cap. You could even put an additional piece of duct tape around the cap or more glue because we want to make sure these caps stay on because it would not be fun to get this out of your rug. All right, guys, that's how you make sensory bottles. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.